Kentucky Lake Guide and Lake Okeechobee Guide. Uh, I'm down here on Kentucky Lake right now. It's late April and I've been doing a lot of flipping today. The water's up in the bushes as you can see behind me here. And I uh, just want to kind of tell you a couple of the baits that I use, how I use them, what size pro tungsten I use when I do flip them, and a um, couple other things that I do to maybe help you out. Probably my three main baits that I use is a, a Zoom Z hog, a baby brush hog, and a big critter crawl. Now, I always tend to like black and blue, and in most of my baits, there are times where I have to use green pumpkin. It seems like green pumpkin to me works best after the spawn and when they're guarding a the fry. I'll uh, just take a dial marker and, and uh, dip the tail of it, just a little bit of chartreuse. I think that Z hog in that profile looks just like a little bluegill that's uh, chasing the fry, and that's one reason that bait works so well at that time. I will almost always use a half ounce pro tungsten when I'm flipping the uh, buck brush just because the cover is so thick, and I like to, to peg it. And the reason I want to peg it and use a half ounce because that way when I flip it in there, it's going to fall all the way down through the bush and land by the trunk of the bush. I'm always trying to get in the center of the bush where I try to look where the branches are, are, are growing to and try to visualize where that trunk is going to be in the water because usually that's where those fish will build that nest and you got to focus on that and getting that bait in there. One thing we're doing is this time of year, the first, of, you know, the end of April, the first of May, is we're flipping, but we're truly flipping for bedding fish. And uh, so you can't just flip the bait in there, shake it a couple times, take it out of there. What I'll do is I'll power pole down uh, when I get in the right area. I will flip the, uh, like I said, I'll visualize where I think that stump is. I'll flip that uh, a baby brush hog or um, the big critter carp on a tube favorites when they're actually spawning. I'll flip that close to that stump 
And what I'll do is with that half ounce pro tungsten, I can keep that bait in that area. And I'll sit there and just shake the rod just enough to make the bait quiver. I don't want to move it out of the area because I'm hoping that I put that, that bait, that uh, brush hog, on the bed and it look like it's eating the fry or eating the eggs, I mean. So um, that's something you uh, want to focus on during this time of year is slow down a little bit. Like I said, power pole down and fish real thorough. Fish all the way around that bush the best you can and fish slow. And you're going to catch a lot better fish and you're going to catch a lot more fish during that. Something way. else I do, and I picked this up through my guide customers, really. Different ones over the years have been using this product called Crawl Cane here. And what it is is 100% pure freeze dried crawfish. And I'll take it, it's just crawfish. Like and uh, what I'll do is I'll just take it, open up my plastics, just sprinkle some in each bag, just like that. <clears throat> I like using probably more than I need to, but then I can I'll shake it up and just let that soak in in that plastic what it happens is if that's in the longer it's in the bag um, it absorbs that crawfish flavor into the plastics and that way when a fish grabs it it may give you the sec or an extra second or two in order to set the hook especially on these bedding fish because the bite is so light a lot of times you can't feel it you may just pull up real slow and you feel some pressure on there and i'll set the hook and I really feel that this crawl cane really helps me uh, during this time of year. And also, I like it when I'm fishing and the water's really cold because, again, there the bite may be real, real soft. And it gives me that extra second or two in order to feel the fish before he feels me. Here's just something that tastes natural to me.